Hey guys, how are you doing today? In today's video, I will be sharing with you my comparison video between my Chanel 19 Wallet Unchained and my newest bag, which is the Chanel 19 Small Flap. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every week about luxury, fashion, beauty, diptyque, unboxing. If these are your type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell so you will not miss any of my future videos. So before we get started, here are some mod shots for you guys. So here are some mod shots of the Chanel 19 small flap that I recently unboxed for you guys last week. And here is my Chanel 19 wallet on chain. So in this video, I will include the history of Chanel 19, the sizes available, measurements, weights, and side-by-side -side comparison for this one. So if you missed my unboxing video for my Chanel 19 small flap, I will link it above or below in the description box if you want to check it out. So here are my handbags. The history. So in March 2019, Chanel debuted Karl Lagerfeld's final collection. Karl Lagerfeld he is the creative director for Chanel from 1983 to 2019. It's about 36 years. So Chanel was the last creation of Karl Lagerfeld before he passed away on February 19, 2019. Chanel 19 was the last creation of Karl Lagerfeld alongside with Virginie Viard who has taken over the creative reigns of Chanel. The 19 bag pays homage to the classic 2.55 bag which was created by Coco Chanel in February of 1955, hence the name 2.55. Just like the bag that inspired it, Chanel 19 bag is named after the year of its birth. It is designed to be semi-structured, supple, and with mixed metals. So the chains are called a uh, trio of chains. It's a metal chain interlaced with leather. So it's a combination of aged gold hardware, shiny silver hardware, and ruthenium hardware. Chanel continues to be one of the most sought after brands whose designs are highly sought after and even hold or exceed their value in the resale market. So we're going to talk about the prices and materials. So for the prices, as you can see on the screen, um, this is the prices, but it depends on the material fabrication. There are leathers, there are tweeds and fabrics. Yeah, there are variations. So this one is the Chanel 19 wallet on a chain. It's the shiny leather and as you can see all the prices these are the current prices and the materials that's available in the market so for the sizes there are the waist bag wallet on a chain and the 19 flap small size there's medium or large size and also the maxi size so i'm gonna give you an overview of these two handbags so like i said i just recently unboxed this beautiful Chanel 19 small flap from the 21S collection. If you missed watching that video, I'm going to link it above or below in the description box. So here is my Chanel 19 walk. As you already know, if you've been subscribed to my channel and if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen this uh, Chanel 19 walk on Instagram and here on my YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about this, the in-depth uh, comparison. If you wanted to see the in-depth review, you can fast forward this video. Here is the overview. Both of them have chunky chains, the trio of chains, which consist of the aged gold hardware, shiny silver hardware, and also the ruthenium hardware. So as you can see here, the side-by-side, -side, this is the front, this is the side, and this is the back. As you can see, uh, Walton Chain doesn't have any pocket on the back. The 19 small flap, it has a very roomy pocket on the back. 
so I'm gonna open this um, this one has the Chanel logo so this one it has the magnetic closure it is actually roomy inside it just fits your essentials for the 19 walk this is the Chanel 19 small flap these two bags are pre microchipped meaning these bags that Chanel produces for so many years it has the serial number stickers inside the bag along with that it has an authenticity card as I've mentioned in my previous videos about, about Chanel is moving forward towards the new digital authenticity technology which is called the blockchain technology just like LVMH and other luxury brands they have developed this blockchain technology so Chanel is also joining them um, starting this 21A collection which will be released um, end of May and starting June you will no longer have this authenticity card and there will be no more sticker inside the handbag there is a metal plate with a serial number microchip embedded so they are getting rid of the stickers inside the bag along with the authenticity card so to me I wish they would still uh, produce the authenticity card because um, it's really nice to have that authenticity card but I know I understand they're doing this because of all of the counterfeits the super fakes out there for all of these bags they're trying to fight for the counterfeiters they're trying to fight for all these super fake handbags and I guess the older bags or the pre microchip bags will be more in demand in the future what do you think guys I'm gonna share with you the measurements for this bag but before that look at this the comparison for these chunky chains how long Chanel 19 walk it's longer compared to the Chanel 19 small flap bag these are the dimensions as you can see on the screen this is for the Chanel 19 small flap bag and this is the dimension for the Chanel 19 wallet on a chain. So here is the aerial view of these two handbags. So as you can see, the small flap, uh, it is non-structured, it's squishy, it's soft, slouchy, and it's made of lambskin leather, but it, it has a little bit of a protective coating. It's not as shiny as the Chanel 19 Walk, and also not as shiny as the goat skin that they previously produced for the 19 small bags, small, medium, or large, or maxi flat bags it feels so buttery silky soft and it's a beautiful subtle sheen so on the back it has a very generous back pocket the CC logo is also interwoven with leather um, it's an XL format bigger compared to the 19 walk so right now I'm currently using my toiletry pouch from Louis Vuitton it fits also in this 19 small bag so if you are if you already have a toiletry pouch you can use that for this Chanel 19 small flap so 
So as you can see, I'm, I'm pointing out the, the stickers. You can find that on the right bottom part of the handbag. But like I mentioned, this is the a pre-microchip bag for the 21A collection. You will no longer see the stickers. And this one, it doesn't have the secret zipper on the flap. The chain, the shoulder strap has this leather pad which is comfortable on the shoulder and now let's talk about this Chanel 19 walk and this is shiny lambskin leather and the Walton chain it's very structured and the back doesn't have any pocket unlike the regular wallet on chain they have the pocket on the back and here is the chain. It's very similar to the small flap. The shoulder strap has this leather pad, which is comfortable on the shoulder. The chain strap, it's smaller compared to the small flap. The CC logo, it's a same interwoven chain logo that they use. This one has the magnetic closure. That's the logo. So it has the magnetic closure, as you can see. And this one, it has the, the secret pocket, just like the, the one for the regular wallet on chain it, it goes all the way in the back so you can hide whatever your love letters just like coco chanel and so this one since this is a wallet on chain so you can see this has six card slots and i purchased this from last year's from the 21p collection and this is the price that i paid last year 3050 and now you can the current price for this is 3250 I, I think so you can see to maximize this wallet on chain the 19 wallet on chain i use this walk saver this is very very effective and i highly recommend that i will link the my videos about the wallet on chain that i used so if you guys are interested for that I don't have a coupon code, but I, I'm just sharing with you the walk saver. It has so many pockets. This one has the pocket right there, po pocket on the front, and a zipper pocket. So here is the authenticity card. And like I mentioned, this is a pre-microchip bag. So that's why I still have the authenticity card. That is where the sticker is located, the serial number sticker is located so if you buy your new handbag from chanel for the 21a collection you're not gonna have this authenticity card and the stickers it will be replaced by a microchip embedded you will see a metal plate with a serial number microchip embedded inside the bag but it's not visible to the naked eye chanel boutique will only have that maybe tool or gadget to authenticate this microchip bags it will be hard for resellers i don't know how it will be for the reseller it will be hard for them to sell those so you can see this is the back of the the handbags let's check the weight i've shared this with you last time uh, about the weight of this bag it is 1.6 for the chanel 19 small flap and the other one is 1.6 or 1.60 pounds However, for this Chanel 19 walk, I couldn't get the weight. I guess I need to get the like the food weighing scale, but I think this is less than a pound. That is my in-depth review for this handbag. Let me know if you have any other questions about these two handbags that I showed today, the Chanel 19 walk or wallet on chain and the Chanel 19 small flap bag. So please stay tuned for my upcoming video what fits in the Chanel 19 small flap bag and I can also include the what fits in my Chanel 19 Walt on chain uh, I can include that but I already did um, previously if you want to watch that I will also include the link in the description box okay 
and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time make, make sure to like comment subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell i'll see you next time thank you guys for watching bye